Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Du -du 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 -du. Hello, welcome to Game Grumps, everybody. Hi. We're back. Phoenix Wright. We're writing so much. Mm-hmm. With our phoenixes. Yes, I love it. We're talking to Edgeworth uh, about what just went down in court. Uh, sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that, Edgeworth. Oh, uh, edge of your seat? <laughs> For what it's worth. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> I've seen worse. Yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets. You sweating bullets! <laughs> Hello, Phoenix. It's <laughs> Phoenix again. I just wonder what I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Larry was at the lake that night. Yes. He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Oh right. And he found the balloon in the air tank that night. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Edgeworth. Huh? You say something right? Uh, no, I said something wrong. <laughs> uh, you always bring out the comedy in me. Uh, you seem out of it. What's wrong? It... it's nothing. I don't know. I'm going to the death sentence. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? They'll fry me for this, right? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Did you kill that guy? <laughs> Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Oh. oh. <laughs> Decent question. Felt like putting them there, I don't know. Seemed like a good idea at the time. When he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor in the boat in front of me. I picked it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. I was like, oh! I was like, oh, dip. <laughs> I see! Right. Yeah? This might be our chance. Our chance? Aunt Karma has only run, ever run perfect trials. Oh, about the trial. <sighs> Got my hopes up for a second. Yeah. Perfect trials? Perfectly prepared witnesses. Perfectly complete evidence. That's the secret to his success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. He has to let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. And that someone is Larry Butts. What are you getting at? It's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? That's right, Nick. No ten-minute trial this time. We'll milk this one for all it's worth. I love cows. <laughs> hey, it was fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Everything's on Larry now. As it always is. Oy vey. Good old Larry Butts. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> Not ass. The butts. butts. <laughs> <laughs> Court is now back in session. Everybody get their cucumber sandwiches? You? You? <laughs> you? You? What about... I see you, Ted. Witness! A little bit of mayo The fitness! <laughs> Please testify to the court about everything that you saw. <laughs> just busts out. <laughs> takes his shirt off and he's jacked. He's like, Oh, okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> On the night of December 24th. Christmas. <laughs> right, leave it to me. Please, Larry, don't mess this one up. I hate to admit it, but you're our last ho Help me, everyone! <laughs> Von Karma didn't even have time to pre prep his witness. I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. As in, I'm gonna break his leg. <laughs> <laughs> that night, I was out in a boat on the lake, mm -hmm. 80 miles from Santa Fe. <laughs> I was looking for something out there by the lake. So I quietly slipped into the boat back at the rental shop dock. Yeah. Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. I looked out over the lake, but I didn't see a boat. So after I heard that single, hell yeah, the <laughs> gunshot, I went home. Single gunshot? Wow. Hmm. Okay. That was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. In any case, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Okay. What's wrong, Nick? It's Larry. I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. Hmm. Well, we've come this far. There's no way to go but forward, Nick. <laughs> In the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> we tried really hard. Got so far. Okay. The night of the murder. 
Hanging out on the boat on the lake. Mm -hmm. There's something. I found it. Quietly slipped the boat back in the rental shop. And just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. Looked over the lake, but I didn't see a boat. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. Yeah, that's it, hit that. It was two gunshots. Always, always been two. Um, yeah, but when I press on the last one, it doesn't. Is there any evidence that goes with that? Uh... Bubba. Uh, I two heard gunshots. two gunshots. Yep. Wait a second, Larry. What? You only heard one bang? You're sure? That's what I said! But Miss Lotta Hart testified yesterday that she heard two bangs! And the old man just now said the same thing! They both heard two gunshots that night! Huh? Were you even listening? Were you paying attention at all to what they said? Yo, Nick! Chill, bro! <laughs> <laughs> huh? You know, something's been bothering me. Yo, we were gonna light up after this. Now yeah. I'm not so sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a witness, see? I'm like a customer here. So you gotta treat me nice and stuff, okay? Um, Mr. Butts? <laughs> what? You only heard one gunshot? Are you sure? Um, well, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Eh? Not sure? How could you not be sure? Yeah, well, I uh, might have missed the other gunshot. I was, uh, listening to something else. Something else. Pornography! My radio, dude! With my headphones! W what <laughs> Order, order! And stop that booing! <laughs> Mr. Butts! What were you were you listening, listening to the radio with your headphones? Was it something dope? Yeah, so what? That a crime? I listen to my radio. I really listens to radio. It's 1976. <laughs> What's the big deal? Hmm. Mr. Von Karma, your opinion? Waste of time. <gasps> I do not accept this witness nor his shoddy testimony. Hmm. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, should he continue the testimony? <laughs> What? I just thought he's like, he's like, no, I think it's a waste of time. And then the judge is like, hmm, and he's like, all right, I've just realized you're an asshole. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of your shit. Um, okay, uh, continue. Okay. Your honor, please, please allow the witness to continue his testimony. The, the dance beat has just begun. Bah! Nothing is more pitiful than a lawyer who doesn't know when he's lost. Very well, Mr. Butts. Please give your testimony and be sure to include details like your radio! <laughs> right, leave it to me. All we need is Radio Goo Goo. Radio Gaga? Radio Blah Blah. I wouldn't if there were any other way out of this, believe me. Okay. What Larry heard. It's lonely being alone on Christmas Eve. Okay. That's why I was listening to an all-request show on the radio, see? I was listening to it real booming loud, like. But I'm sure I heard that gunshot. I remember exactly what the DJ was saying when I heard it, too. He was saying, uh -huh. ah, I've been shot. <laughs> <laughs> you were listening to your radio at a high volume? Yeah. Yeah, what's the big problem? Can't a man listen to his radio in peace? Isn't this a free country? I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem here is. I have no idea what country this takes place in. Judge, <laughs> can you believe a word this witness says? <laughs> what he heard was probably nothing more than a drum beat from the radio. Oh. True enough. It is difficult to believe this testimony. Some drums that sound like guns. I know. Wait, your honor! The witness said he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. Excuse me? DJ? An announcer? The guy who says things on the radio? Seriously, you don't know what a DJ is? Anyway, what this means is, when he heard the sound, no music was playing. The DJ only talks between songs, so he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I'd like to cross-examine the witness, Ooh, Your Honor. smart. Very well, Mr. Wright. I can't believe I'm continuing this charade. <laughs> I guess, yeah. The DJ only talks between, um, songs unless it's one of those, like, Rap stations with one of those DJs who, like, halfway through the song, he just comes in and he's like, Hey, yo, 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 Hot 97, all the way to heaven, word him up! Like, you've never heard that? It's I the- have. It's so annoying. I'm well, like, you are killing my buzz, man. I like it when the song's, like, fading out, you know? Yeah. And they're just like, alright, we're back for a minute! And it's like, 
like a good yeah there was like 45 seconds, seconds yeah. left to that song it's lonely being alone on christmas eve oh right i'll request radio show okay. listen to it but i'm sure i heard that gunshot i remember hearing exactly what the dj was saying i mean that's the spot right yeah but i don't i mean what the hell evidence am i gonna use i guess I should ask. yeah what did she say mr wright please cease these pointless questions what possible good could knowing what a radio DJ said do us? Indeed, Mr. Von Karma has a point. I'll allow the question only if you see some reason why we should care. We should care, then you can tell what time it happened. Yeah. We should care, Your Honor, of course we should! Bye. Um, well, how do you know if we don't ask, hmm? Fine, very well. Mr. Butts, please testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? <laughs> Bang, bang! <laughs> <laughs> Loudly. It just when he said, hey, it's almost Christmas, I heard the gunshot. Oh, but didn't it happen after midnight? Oh. Didn't they testify that it happened after midnight? Yes! 12.15 a.m. Wow, good, good memory. Thanks, baby. Larry, are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? What's with the face? You look scary, dude. Hey, if you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easy, except I'm scared. Something the matter, Mr. Wright? Uh, yeah, something's a little the matter, Your Honor. <laughs> Did you hear what the witness just said? The DJ said, hey, it's the almost Christmas when you heard the gunshot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Indeed. And? Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Do you realize what this means? When he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve. That would seem to be the case, yes. But he should have heard that gunshot after midnight. This photograph is irrefutable proof of this fact. Let's see what the time was on the photo taken when the gun triggered Miss Hart's camera. Oh. Duh, 15 minutes after midnight on Christmas Day. This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. Help, I'm flying through the air. <laughs> Which means this witness isn't reliable, so get him out of here. Order, order. What does this mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Judge, the answer is simple. The current witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him. Suspicious. Uh, that's profiling, dude. What? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you think about Mr. Butts' claim he heard the gunshot before midnight? Um... I think Larry's right. I think Larry's right? Yeah. Yeah. I think the other two people are lying. Uh, oh. Word? Yeah, word him up. Okay. Uh, Larry's not mistaken, <laughs> your honor. He heard that gunshot before midnight! Mm, intriguing. I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. No. Uh, show me evidence there was a gunshot before midnight. Um... Time of death, shot sometime on the 24th or the 25th. Mm -hmm. That seems pretty decisive. Shows an empty leg. Oh, this. It's 11.50. Oh, that was the first bang. Yeah. Look at this photograph. This Every will not make you laugh. <laughs> yeah, I know where you're going. <laughs> this was taken by our witness yesterday, Ms. Lotta Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp on the photo reads December 24th, 11.50 p.m. Oh! Hmm? But there's nothing on the lake in this picture. Your Honor, the real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph. It is why this photograph exists at all! What do you mean? Your Honor, this photograph was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Aha! Uh -huh. Correct. There was a loud noise on the lake at 11.50 p.m. That is why this photograph was taken. <laughs> In other words, when Larry heard that gunshot, it was most definitely still Christmas Eve! Oh my god! Indeed, it would seem that's the case. And we'll find out where that does leave us next time on Game Grumps. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is getting intriguing. Daddy like! Daddy, truly like. Daddy love! Now this is Daddy's sauce right here.